founder and CEO, and my companies are RLM Media and What Are You Wearing Productions. So our business is a combination of advertising, marketing, communications, and content creation. Uh, one of the biggest challenges that I faced in you know, starting my companies really wasn't even with my first company. It was, I would say, in my production company where when I started the company, I thought it was going to be a media company where we were going to be attracting eyeballs and clicks uh, with the daily content we were creating. Uh, but I quickly figured out that it, it was going to take me raising about $4 million to get that executed, and I didn't have the time or the wherewithal to do that. So I had to sit and think about what was the best way for me to pivot the business to hold on to the items that were the most profitable in the business. And it was the content that we were creating. And in that decision, I had to uh, let go of half of my staff, which is a very difficult thing to do, and really decide that we were gonna go full throttle into the production of uh, reality shows and documentaries. So I would say my management style really hasn't changed over the course of my 11 year uh, entrepreneurship journey. I've always led with the idea that every employee is an individual. And for me to get the most benefit out of everyone that works for me, I have to treat them as such and understand what their personal currencies are and what drives them, what gets them out of bed every day. As a founder and CEO, and I will add the obvious, black woman, um, I take my responsibilities very uh, personally and uh, I wear them proudly. So because growing up I did not have many examples, if any, of real women of color who were doing what I do today for a living, I, I proudly let folks see me doing what I'm doing so that hopefully I can be an inspiration to women today and the next generation. So in that leadership, I make sure that there is an element of nurturing that goes along with it for the folks that I employ, but also for the people that I mentor. Because there's a lot of women who don't necessarily do what I do for a living, but can still uh, reach out to me and get an element of mentorship within their professional space. So the key indicators of a really strong business culture, I would say, are when your employees are happily uh, you know, talking about what a wonderful work environment they go to every day. When their friends know where they work and what they do and what the office space looks like and feels like. When you realize that your employees are spending time with each other outside of the work environment. And when they're showing off, you know, in a really positive way uh, about the projects they're working on and, and what it feels like to walk into the space every day. Thank you.